Bladers, does height matter? That's a question you might have asked the last girl you were talking to right before she goes to you. But hey, let's not reopen old wounds. Instead, let's talk about Beyblade. Right now, the meta is flooded with 60 height ratchets, which got me thinking, does having a lower center of gravity always make your combo better? So I put that through to the test by building the ultimate smash attack combo, Tyranno Beat 480 Rush, which much to my surprise, that extra height completely changed the solid combo and transformed it into a competitive titan. Let's break it down. Let's discuss my blade choice, Tyranno B. I chose it because of its incredibly complex and effective shape. Tyranno is actually a hyperbolic paraboloid, a free surface that curves upwards in one direction and downward in the perpendicular direction. The shape isn't just cool to look at, it has a very real purpose. The sloped and uneven surface area of a hyperbolic paraboloid redirects energy away from the center of the blade and outward towards its opponent. This means uh, Tyranno takes less damage and preserves more of its own rotational connect energy, all while disrupting the spin of the opposing bay. This uneven energy distribution creates what's called a non-uniform moment of inertia. Basically, Tyranno is hitting harder than it's being hit, and when you combine that with the fact Tyranno Beat has a gap in its design before its largest and heaviest contact points, you get something even more powerful. The spacing gives it extra room to dig into your opponent during the moment of impact to send your opponent flying. Put all of that together, and Tyranno Beat becomes the perfect blade for the ultimate smash attack combo. Let's talk about my ratchet choice, 480. You may be thinking, Ender, why would you choose a 4 ratchet? Well, it all comes down to a concept known as synergy. Synergy is when you take two independent forces and when you combine them, you get a greater output than you possibly could have gone separately. In Beyblade, that means an alignment gimmick. For example, think of Drum Buster with 160. When you combine these two points, there's an increased attack output. It's the same thing for Tyranno Beat. With 4, you concentrate weight on these two contact points and these two contact points. It creates a well-balanced combo that can also hit harder, so you have improved stamina and stability with your spin retention and increased attack output. And then by choosing an 80 height, we're now taller than all other meta combos, which typically use a 60 height. So we're going to abuse this height gimmick by striking down onto our opponents to crash them into the stadium floor, to destabilize them, or send them out of the stadium. This is a perfect place to uh, put to the test if 80 heights have a place in the meta. Now let's talk about one of the most important and underrated decisions in this build, the bit. A lot of people would have instinctively picked level for a smash attack combo, but I went with rush. Why? Because something called moment of inertia, a physics concept that plays a major role in how your Beyblade moves and maintains its speed. Moment of inertia is basically an object's resistance to changes in its rotations. In Beyblade terms, it's how difficult it is for your combo to start losing spin once it's already moving. The formula looks something like this, I equals M times R squared, where M equals mass in kilograms, R equals radius in meters, and I equals moment of inertia, which is kg times uh, M to the second second power. Now let's plug in some numbers for Rush. The total mass of the combo is 45.37 grams, which equals 0.04537 kilograms. The radius for Rush is 6.2 millimeters, which is 0.0062 meters. Plug that into the combo, you get I equals 0.04537 times 0.0062 to the second power, which equals 0.0000001744. Now for level, the total mass of the combo is 46.01 grams, which is 0.04601 kilograms. The radius is 10.38 millimeters, which uh, translates to 0.01038 meters. Now plug all of that into the equation, we get I equals 0 0.04601 times 0 0.01038 to the second power, which equals 0 0.00004957. Both of these numbers are incredibly small, but Russia's inertia is less than half of levels, meaning its resistance to changes in rotation is far less, giving it uh, better acceleration and increased stamina throughout the duration of the match. But here's the kicker, Rush has a narrow tip which reduces surface friction of the stadium. That gives you longer uh, spin retention while also uh, allowing you to build up more power on the extreme line due to a 10 teeth gear ratio, resulting in more torque. Level just can't match this in this setup. 
Now, some of you may say this is an oversimplification of a complex physics formula, and they'd be right, but I'd argue that simplifying these concepts is what allows us to turn theory into performance, and clearly the results speak for themselves. Okay guys, this is the final combo, Tyrano beat 480 rush. In order to properly represent how strong this combo is, we're gonna be battling against five different meta combos. First phase is six points is the winner. We have Phoenix Wing 760 rush. Nightmail 960 free ball. Phoenix Wing 770 point. Wizard Rod 960 ball and Dronzer S 960 low flat. If you're interested in any of the bays that you see in this video or any Beyblades for the matter, check out Bays and Bricks at baysandbricks.com. Use code INDIREX all caps for 7% off your order. Thank you to Bays and Bricks for sponsoring the channel and let's get started with the battles. First up is Wizard Rod 960 ball. Um, we're going to be using the uh, non-paint version of Tyranno Beat because I don't want to ruin my paint job. First bout, I'm going to shoot. Second bout, I'm going to shoot. That's Wizard Rod with a spin finish current score of 1 to 2. Free to go shoot. Wizard Rod with a spin finish. Current score of 2-2. Two two. Next bow. That is Tyrell B with a extreme finish. That is a current score of 2-5. to five. Wow, I was not expecting that. That was such a last second attack. Next bow. That is Tyrell Beat with a KO spin. That is a final score of 2 7. Tyrell beats the winner. Moving on. Next up is Nightmail 960 Free Ball. First bow. Next bow, we're going to shoot. Okay, it's Nightmare with a spin fish, current score of one to two. Next bow, we're going to shoot. Okay, that's uh, Tyrano with a KO finish on Nightmare. That's a current score of 1 to 4. Next bow. Okay, that's Nightmare with a spin finish. Current score of 2 to 4. Next bow. with a spin finish current score of two to five next bow shoot
That's Night Vale with the spin finish, current score of 3 of 5. Next bell. Okay, well that is Tyrell with an extreme finish with Nightmail. That's a, yeah, that's a final score of eight to three. Tyrell, uh, Tyrell moves on. Next up is Fink Swing 760 Rush. First foul. <laughs> Very close matchup. Okay, that's Tyrell beat with a spin finish. Current score of zero to one. Next bow. Okay, that's KO finish. Current score of two to one. Next bow. Fritz Wink goes two. Tyrell beat with a KO finish. Current score of two to three. Next battle, free to go shoot. That's Tyrell beat with a spin finish. That is a current score of two to four. Next battle, free to go shoot. Okay, that's Tyrell beat with a spin finish once again. That is a current score of two to five. Next battle for is the winner moving on next up we're going against the channel champion dronzer s 960 low flat first bow <laughs> okay i want to say i'm surprised but i'm really not Dronzer is such a good bay. Like, I don't care what anyone says. It's about to shoot. Okay, that's Tyrell beat with a crazy X. Okay, that's Tyrell beat with a spin fish. Current score of 3 to 1. Next bow. Okay, that's Tyrell beat with a spin fish. Current score of three to two. Next bow. I may be wrong, uh, but it, it seemed to have been contact. It just happened so quick. Next bout. Okay, that is Tyrell beat with a spin finish. Current score of 3 to 1. That is Tyrell beat with a KO finish. That is a final score of 3 to 7. Okay, Tyrell beats the winner. As you guys just saw, Tyrano beat 
480 Rush absolutely dominated all five meta combos we threw it against. I'd honestly rate this combo a 9.8 out of 10. It struggles a little bit against uh, heavy hitting attack types like Phoenix Wing 760 Rush, but overall it has enough stamina and recoil to outperform them. This combo is absolutely phenomenal and it's one of my favorite that I've made on this channel. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of it. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified every time I upload. And check out my last video where I used an over 13-year-old stadium with Beyblade X, the Zero-G attack stadium. It was a lot of fun and it was a little bit goofy. So if that interests you even just a little bit, go check it out. But in the meantime, peace out, bladers.